Hey guys, just going through some episodes from season two of Weird But True and looking at all the skits we did. Definitely some of the moments where we have the most fun during the production process. Whoopy, goopy, slime! <laughs> Coming in at number 10, we have Evil, Bob, and Patrick. What, what are you doing in the lab? Yeah. They spent so much time figuring out how they were gonna sit, how they were gonna laugh, how they were gonna react. Hey guys, we got you a present. And I love those guys. At number nine, we have the snake oil salesman. Ladies and gentlemen, I really liked this one because writing was the best. This right here. If you listen, the way that this guy talks takes out the bad stuff and fills you with glad stuff. It's really kind of snappy. It was really fun to put those rhymes together. No town or city has seen a bridge so pretty. It never fails. And number eight, we have Madam Eruption. I am Madame Eruption. This comes in on the list because Kirby knocked it out of the park. She got the French accent down. You silly American. She learned a heck of a lot about volcanoes. The Mer Maroc is under great pressure. And she did a pretty long monologue, nearly top to bottom, without stopping. Come on. Shout out to Brandon Goulish, co-writer on the Volcanoes episode, for doing a great job with that. Play magnifique. Play magnifique. For number seven, we got the Pollination League MVP. Welcome back, sports fans. Chip Shivers alongside Bob. Chip and Bob, definitely my personal favorite characters to write for. Everybody's talking about who It's really inspired by like all of those sports debate shows that you see on TV. You know, Chip, it's blasphemous. Where everything is always so blasphemous and the craziest thing that you've ever heard in your entire life. Chip Shivers. Bob Frost. Catch you next time. Coming in at number six, we have Kirby's Planet World documentary. So ends our journey. I really like this one because of Bob's role. Cut! This one's really kind of a mind bender. All right, Bob is our mailman on the show, but in real life, he records the audio. And in this scene, he pretends to be a mailman pretending to record audio for Kirby's pretend documentary, but he's actually recording real audio for our real show. Bob. Raise up that boob, you're almost in my shot. Come on, people, we're losing light. At number five, we have the Wood Nymph and Traveler. Guys, these are our parents. I like this one because my parents were on set for one day. Wanderer. And the first scene that they ever watched was the one where I was dressed up as a Wood Nymph, prancing around, and Kirby was a pretty disgruntled traveler. Cool. No, Cleef. What was all this for? Couldn't you have just told me that? I thought it was a great way to introduce my parents to the show. And also, I love those wings. I get it. Coming in at number four, we got electricity horror stories. There's this thing called an electric eel. I really like this skit because the set was absolutely amazing. The art team did a great job of building that tent and the moon. And the camera team also lit it in a really interesting way. And number three, we have the Antiques Roadshow skit. I was very excited when you brought these to my table. I love writing skits that are based off TV shows in real life. This collection of three paintings would And this was fun because I got to live out like a personal goal of mine, which is to be on Antiques Roadshow, one of my favorite shows. So excited! And number two, we have the Crafty Camper Builder Bonanza Championship Race. What do you race for? To win badges. What do you race for? To win badges. Let's see it. We got to race Soapbox Derby. Looks like Patrick is forming a lead. It was crazy. We had a huge crowd. Charlie falls further and further. So that was just entirely a fun day on set. Damn. He's done it, folks. Patrick has won the championship race. And finally coming in at number one, in my opinion, the best skit of all season two, the Volcanoes Science Fair. So today for you all, we made a composite volcano. Mm. Kirby, Patrick, Casey and I are presenting our science fair projects to ourselves as judges, which is pretty ridiculous. And the winner is. It was so fun to shoot and it comes out being really smooth. Willie Moore and Man of Eruption. So there you go, guys. That's the 10 best skits from Weird But True season two. See you guys in the next one.